Hello everyone, the 316, the Gomaniac 316 here, back with another Morphin Monday Lightning Collection review. This time, I got another TMNT2 pack. This is the uh, Morphed Raphael and Foot Soldier Tommy 2 pack. Uh, retails, depending on where you are, it's usually about $49.99. Uh, a lot of people have been finding these two packs on sale, same thing with Shredder. So, Really, the price varies. Uh, as you can see, I got mine from GameStop for $38.99. Uh, it was touted as being up to 25% off. And a uh, big shout out to GameStop customer service. Uh, I accidentally had my old address hooked up to my PayPal, and uh, they were able to fix it and send it to my proper address. And I just realized. Boop, boop, boop. There you go. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories. We'll go ahead and start off with uh, start off with Raphael. So first things first, he comes with all three sets of hands, just like uh, Mikey does. You get the fists, you get the more open hands, and you get the uh, more closed off hands as well. Uh, speaking of the hands, you can fit his sword, his power sword size, uh, in either configuration. So in Psy mode, and of course in sword mode. It also comes with this really nice effect piece. The only issue I have with this effect piece is that uh, you don't want to push it down too much because it's really on there. Like it's it's a super tight fit, and I don't feel comfortable doing that. Like it goes in. The problem is not it going in; it's it coming out because it really feels like it's in there. Oof! Do we scratch that up? Nope. Still looks pretty good. Anyway, last accessory, of course, is the. Uh, civilian head sculpt, I would say. Anyway, here it, it's a pretty good Raphael. It's grown on me a little bit. Uh, in person, it's more of like a, it, It's more green with a slightly bluish tint to it. Let's go ahead and take a look at how that looks on the figure real quick. Let me just put him in a more reasonable pose. Pop the head off. And uh, let's see. Get that on there. Getting on these turtle heads is kind of a challenge because of where the ball peg is. Anyway, there he is with the civilian head sculpt on. It it looks really good uh, in person. It's uh, on camera. It's not really showing, but in person, it really meshes well with the rest of the body. But uh, there's your civilian head sculpt for you. Oh, God, it's so annoying. All right, now let's go back to the accessories for Foot Soldier Tommy. He comes with a couple reuses with some new stuff. So first things first, he gets this sword effect piece, which also hugs the uh, sword really tightly, but not as bad as the sword size. But uh, let me see, I think I did strip some of the paint. And it's hard to tell. Speaking of effect pieces, another reuse, albeit a slightly different color. This was from Beast Morpher's Blue. And I think Beast Morphers Blue was like a very light blue. I can definitely tell it's a reuse of Beast Morphers because you can kind of see where the Morphers supposed to go in there. Not too bad. Let me straighten this figure out real quick. And we will take a look at the extra hands. So currently, I have uh, the left fist on, so here's the right one. Nice shiny silver. And then you have the holding hand, which is a nice shiny silver. Albeit a little bit different when compared to each other like I feel like the one on the left is more shiny the one on the right looks a little bit more grainy it may not come across that well on camera but I would say that the holding hands silver looks a lot better than the fisted hands silver uh, now on the figure is uh, one access or actually two accessories I'm actually gonna take off the Tommy head sculpt because it is a reuse however Instead of a green band, they gave him a purple one. Also, this mask can come off. Uh, I don't know if you can really put this on any other figure, because this is specifically molded for him. But it's super easy to put on, and it holds in place. It ain't coming off. But eh. Now, I don't have the Green Ranger to compare this head sculpt to, but it's the exact same. And, uh, you know, they did a great job with that. Uh, and then you also get this little piece to go around the neck for like when you take the uh, you know the, the mask down and of course last two accessories you get this nice katana 
Very nice shiny silver, and you can kind of see where I think I stripped paint, although that might have been there. I don't know, I'll have to look at the um, effect piece. Uh, now on my particular hand on this side, it is a little loose, but that's just mine. That Yours was probably fine. Th what's nice about this head sculpt is it's not shiny. Like, it's more of a matte finish. Like, you can see there's a little bit of shine, but not to the extent of a helmet. Like, this is nice and kind of glossy. You can see how it affects the light. Barely any light's reflecting off of that. So there you go. Uh, for the rest of the review, I'm going to keep him with that on. One thing I do want to show with uh, the accessory here for the katana is that you can put it back here. Uh, I believe it goes in this way. And I don't know how far down it's supposed to go, but it you can put it in all the way. Now, I did try putting it in this way, but it just does not want to go in. And when it does, I feel like I'm forcing it. So, I mean, you could put it in either way. I just don't recommend putting it in with the tip facing upward. So, ugh, nasty. I think that covers all of the accessories. I'm going to go ahead and start off with Foot Soldier Tommy here. Now, I know a lot of people have been uh, putting this up on eBay because they just want Raph. They don't really need a Tommy. And, uh, you know, this is a good army builder. It's just unfortunate that it comes in a two-pack. I think that's the big issue with army builders is that a lot of them have come in two-packs. You get uh, the putty. You've got this guy. You get the Zeocog two-pack, but that makes sense because, you know, it's a red one and it's a silver one. But... Uh, the detailing on this figure is nice. Uh, the new molds include the, uh, uh, I don't know what I'd call this, just like the the armor, the, the cloth piece. I don't know. It's not cloth, though. It's rubber. Uh, you also get some new bracers here, which is new, as well as the hands. I hope they reuse these hands. I feel like there's figures we could, you know, see with these hands being reused. Uh, this waist piece that's supposed to be cloth is new. And from the like uh, foot wrappings down is also new molding as well. Everything else, like all of the molds, minus what I just pointed out, is a reuse of Dino Thunder White. Like the arms are the exact same, the elbows are the same, uh, the legs here, it's kind of hard to tell, but those are the exact same. Like they have the same mold lines and everything. And the torso is the same too, as well as the torso of. Uh, Sentry here. So what that means is if you wanted to you could uh, uh, Take here. I'll just show you about this guy since he's here You can see there's a peg in the back and a peg hole and you could just uh, pop it in You could also take it off and uh, You know this isn't too bad of a base body if you wanted to do ooh, there goes uh, <laughs> My figures I was gonna take a, a comparison to anyway uh, this wouldn't be a ba bad base body mold, but it's got the same articulation as a regular lightning collection figure of the uh, pinned era, uh, not era, pinned era. But let's see here, we can stand him up. Come on, can you do a kicking pose? I know you'd want to. Okay, he can kind of hold it for like a second. All right, you can do this. Come on. This is like his bad ankle. I can do it. I, I'm going to give it a few more minutes. Not minutes. <laughs> eh, you, you can kind of see he wants to hold the pose, but he's just a little too heavy. Yeah, well. Uh, nice figure. Some of the dark, some of the grays, they're not the same color, like the uh, hip piece versus the midsection. You get the idea. I'm going to go ahead and put him to the side so we can take a look at Morphed Raphael. And, uh, you know, I do have a few issues with this figure, mostly due to uh, just some weird quality control. Uh, the main issue I had was, it may not appear that well on camera, but look at those knees and the elbows. The elbows aren't as bad, but those knees are like a completely different color to this. This is almost like a pink color. It reminds me of like a nerd's candy. I just want to eat it. And on the back, you can see some really... Uh, nasty like um, flashing lines it, they are present on uh, Mikey but I don't think they're as noticeable these are just oof, not uh, not good uh, let me go ahead and take out his 
power sword size so that you can see eh, that they do go in here very nicely. They don't. I don't feel like I'm going to scratch off the paint too badly. And uh, if I can take it out of his side holding mode. Come on, you can get out of there. Ugh. Had to rip it out, it felt like. But as you can see, it goes straight in with very little issue. Uh, the, the the figure is the same base body mold as uh, Mikey that I reviewed earlier, but uh, uh, you know the only difference here is the helmet mold as well as this being for his specific weapon. But otherwise, everything is basically the exact same, just in a different uh, flavor. What is nice about my particular red figure is that his uh, neck actually has better posability than my yellow, so there's that. And yeah, with these new body molds, they're never going to be reused again. Um, one thing to note about the shoulder joints here is that they're the McFarlane-style butterfly joint, where uh, it goes up and down and you know forward and back just a little bit. So you can get like a like a shrug animation if you really wanted to, but uh, yeah, th these aren't like a traditional butterfly joint. It's not going to go super far forward or back, unfortunately. That's the really only major drawback I have about this particular body mold, but otherwise I think that uh, it works really well, and uh, it gives off the right, uh, you know, uh, not scaling, that's not what I'm wearing, like, like the right type of look. Like, this looks good, it looks like it's based on the um, comics, I'm trying to get this to focus, but it really likes focusing on you, so what if I bring you closer? Oh, well, I'm not going to worry about it. Anyway, let's go ahead and do some size comparisons. Let me readjust him. All right, and let's see here. Foot Soldier Tommy. Oop, that's upside down. He stands at just about six inches. And Raphael stands at also just about six inches. <laughs> Maybe. No, no, they're standing upright. All right. Let me get all these accessories out of the way. You get so many. <laughs> All right, so let's let's stick them like this. All right, let's go ahead and start off with some of the figures I showed earlier. So we have Dino Thunder White here that reuses the same base body as uh, Foot Soldier Tommy, as well as uh, Tyrannosaurus Sentry, another comic book figure. And then we have uh, Mighty Morphin Red, they all have a different version of the power sword. I think that's uh, kind of funny. So there's some, uh, you know, other just regular ranger figures to take a look at in one comic-based figure. And we got, you know, three different versions of Tyrannosaurus Red. So, <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and move them out of the way. And we'll go ahead and take a look at them with the other two uh, Turtles figures I have, which is Mikey, of course. Stick him and move him a bit there we go and of course i have morphed april as well and i i don't keep the uh mask or not mask helmet on her because uh you know i have my mighty morphin pink on my shelf but anyway there's uh let's let's get a better angle here boop, boop, boop. there you go so overall this two pack let's take a look at the box yeah yeah just just yeah whatever they're made of plastic as you saw, there's the back of the box, there's the top of the box, bottom of the box, there's your uh, morphed, or not morphed, your uh, foot soldier Tommy side, and your morphed Raphael side, and there's the front of the box. Uh, basically, same, similar blocks designed to the other two pack. It's got the nice turtle, like, magenta-y purple color uh, insert, and it's got the nice, really bright green it's just so, you know, in your face. It's one of my favorite colors. Just bright lime green. Uh, you know, as I said, with the yellow and pink turtles figures, if you find them on sale, I think they're worth it. $50, I mean, you know, look at all these accessories, right? Like, this is the two-pack I think that is most worth it, although I really want to get black and blue, but they're pretty expensive. Even with sales. <laughs> Best one I found was just slightly below retail. Anyway, what do you guys think of these figures? Let me know in the comments below. 
Don't forget to like the video. It helps other people to find my channel. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when videos like this are uploaded to the channel. And thanks for watching. Peace.